Yo, what's up guys? Alright, so somebody asked me to kind of check out like the Smash box for the firmware updates and the May Flash update. Um, so I was actually in the uh, Discord, uh, I asked those guys, you know, if there's already a video out there. He said no, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, sure enough, I looked it up, it is pretty straightforward. Um, so what you want to do is just kind of head over to their site, thehitboxarcade.com. Um, in products, go to downloads, and uh, which I pretty much already had over here. Go into downloads, scroll down, and uh, just go ahead and grab the main flash adapter firmware update. Um, so use your Smashbox on the Wii U and Switch with the main flash adapter with the above firmware. Uh, you must be using the latest Smashbox firmware. Works as a game controller for Nintendo Switch. Now, I actually don't really need this. I've already been using my Smashbox on the Wii U before I even bought a Switch and the new Smash Bros came out, because I didn't, I didn't even worry about the Switch until the new Smash Bros came out. Um, so, um, and, and I had this for a while because I was part of the uh, the Kickstarter program. But anyway, um, I don't think they have any firmware updates for this. Uh, I think this is more specific to the adapter itself. Um, and I'm gonna play around with the software uh, later because I need to make a change, but um, I already have a video on that as well. So anywho, so once you download the the firmware here, okay, uh, open it up and you know it's in a zip file, so I have WinWare. Um, basically, uh, it comes with the release notes. Um, pretty much just talks about like how you pretty much get it going, um, and then they also gave me some instructions in the Discord. Um, again, it's straightforward. Uh, I'm not too familiar with like all this here. So really nothing I'm concerned about. Um, but if you're really just looking to like update the main flash adapter, um, here's pretty much how you do it. So uh, you just, you know, open that up. It pretty much opens up this box over here. Now, the thing that you have to do is, you know, get your main flash adapter, um, plug it into the computer basically, and then uh, make sure that it's on the uh, PC mode. Um, and then once it's in PC mode, uh, I'm not even sure if you need the controller plugged in, honestly, but like once it's in PC mode, um, this box will actually uh, highlight. Um, if you're doing something wrong, it'll be grayed out, um, such as, here, let me switch it back to like the wrong mode, so I can show you. Oh, well, that was a fail. Okay, well. Anyway, here, I'll show it. We'll do it this way. All right, yeah, so anyway, um, if it's not plugged in, if you're doing something wrong, it's gonna be grayed out, and you won't be able to click update firmware. So that's what I'm saying, it's pretty straightforward, because like once it's in, you all you do is just hit this button. Um, and it says, you know, note, you know, make sure it's in PC mode and power it on. So, uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and power that back on. And then boom, it pops up. So um, I don't really need this, but uh, I'm, I'll, I guess I'll just go ahead and do it. Oh, it can't really hurt. Um, Boom, we're, we're updated guys. It is really that simple, pretty straightforward. Um, and like I said, uh, I was asking the guys um, pretty much like in the Discord. So um, if you guys have any like questions, need tech support, anything like that, I definitely recommend it. Like these guys have been responding really fast. Um, as you can see here uh, in the Smashbox dis uh, discussion, um, I came in here just like earlier like hey just quick question is there already a video out there and you know it's like basically no but like here's the instructions I'll include that in the description below to everything they gave me here um, and then yeah this is pretty much straightforward and you know I thank them and I had some questions regarding uh, hitbox as well and they were uh, pretty quick in answering that for me as well um, apparently they discontinued uh, hitbox for Xbox but there's a universal board out there you can actually use a hitbox on all consoles with this universal board is really cool i'm not sure how that would work using a hitbox for smash bros but i mean it's really cool that, that there's there's uh, something out there so that's uh, pretty much it guys that was a firmware update it really is straightforward uh, i hope that this helped um and yeah let me go uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions need me to do anything else any other tutorials things like that and I'll be happy to do that. Um, so thank you for your time. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Leave a like if this was helpful. Any comments, drop it below. And like I said, I'll leave a link to their Discord below as well uh, if you guys want to ask them any questions. So thanks for watching. Uh, and you guys have a good one. Be a king? Think not. Why be a king when you can be a god?